welcome back to the spider's web as you can see from the palette um, we've just come off the back of uh, painting Baron Zemo I thought I'm going to jump straight in to painting my cryptborn nightmares so we have a human skeleton an ox skeleton a mummy a zombie and the big guy is a werewolf so we're going to go from that way but I can put those three aside for the time being because I'm going to be painting, sorry not three, these two aside because we're going to be painting these three in this video and we're just going to adjust the camera a second, there we are. <clears throat> this one you may see bits sticking off him and not mold lines and whatnot. I'm not risking it. You saw what trouble I had with that character of Ali's in um, her Deadly Divas. This is much more fragile. I am not risking it. So, <clears throat> as I say, we're going in with this and we're making a start. So we're going to be doing the human skeleton, the zombie skeleton and the... Start again. Do the human skeleton, the orc skeleton and the mummy. So I'll put those to one side for the time being as we get this one out. And we're starting off with... Basically, all we're doing with this is giving it a wash. And he's going to get a flesh wash. So let's get our little... Um, I don't know whether this it makes any difference of putting this on here or not, but... In fact, I don't care. I'm going to put it on this. I'm not going to use this CD palette I'm just going to put a dollop on here and see what happens so this is the Emmy painter flesh wash and <clears throat> why not carry on using our new brushes so get straight into it and all over Same as them two done, I've just noticed that near, near enough don't miss the same areas on this one. Okay, so that's them two done, and now the mummy. And the mummy is going to get a different cold wash altogether. He's going to get a much more dirtier wash. Agrax Earthshade. So I'll we'll slap this all over the mummy. And you, just, you can see the difference. This is a much more dirty brown, whereas the um oops, that shouldn't have happened. Right, I found my super glue. 
Um, what I'm going to do is going to put a bit of this on both feet. In fact, what I'd better do first is file them down. File that, and file that, and then you can do that, you can do that. to blast with accelerator wait for a couple of seconds that's fine Tire, and that's the same that these are going to get as well. So, as I say, I want to make sure that they have um, what's the word I'm looking for that they have the same ring attire for each casino. That's probably not how they'd run it, but that's how I'm doing it so that. When you're playing the game itself, you've got an idea of whose um, casino is being used. So, there we are, that's the mummy. Whew. Right, next job. As I say, we have red ring attire for these. So, we're going to start off with Wasdaka Red for clothing. So, we'll pop a bit of that onto the palette. There we go. Now, first off, to say how much I think this is a really weird outfit for a skeleton to use but hey ho
just a little bit here. Right, so I'm kind of going to try and get this red off the, bandi the bandaged area by going over with a damp brush and wiping off with a cloth or paper towel. I'm hoping I can do it without causing too much, if any, damage. And I'm going to get the Agrax Earth Shade out once more. And I was lucky. Go over this bit in the hope that I can disguise it somewhat. the trick. I want to make sure that these are really stained bandages which is why I'm going over and giving a very heavy wash. I want it stained, I want those bandages really stained. Hopefully that will do. The wraps, as I said, will do. Oh, in fact, I'm not going to do in white. I'm going to do them in a pretty pale grey colour, just for a change. in the two just about and do the same with this one there we go that's that done now to look back at this fella I need a little bit more of the flesh wash out for him and I'm going to give these a chance to dry up before I go any further
as I said, I'm going to leave it now to dry properly um, because I didn't in the first place. That's why it's a little like that. So when we come back, we can carry on and uh, give these a little bit of a highlight and see how we go from there. All righty then. We're back and these have dried. Let's get on with doing a little bit of highlight on them, shall we? So let's start with him first. You know what? You know what? I said I wasn't going to, but I am. Oh, let's get a flat brush. Go a little CD, uh, CD palette kind of thing. And I'll get. this and we'll just quick this one I'm going to take a little bit of black into that some of the white some more of the white I know it's not technically white it's um, what do you call it organ hide and just a touch of this purpley pinky color And a little more, a lot more white. It needs to be. It needs to be a lot brighter. That'll do. I will just run over. break up the um whatchamacallit the um all the brownie creamy colour that won't do And now we'll take some of the white, and only some of the white. And I've not cleaned the brush before, and this is just taking it one step further. And we'll brush this one as well. white 
which is just going to try to brighten it up. Oops, a bit too much. There we go. That's it, that's all we can do. Let's just get the top of the feet because let's face it, they're going to be highlighted. And I quite like that look now. There we are. That's that done. Next job we're going to use <coughs> a paler colour of red than the was decker that we used earlier. I'll just put this brush away. And the paler colour of red will be Evil Sun Scarlet when I can put my hands on it. Oops, there it is. Other side. That's the one. So I'll give it a good shake and get some of that. Now we don't need that much but there we have we got it just in case. So let us take your man here. And just add some little red streaky bits on the front and back. All right. Making sure the bits over the shoulder where it is going to be seen is done. And that should do the job in what we want. Um, I'm just going to run into this bluey grey here just to. Now, how's that turned red? <clears throat> That'll do. Let's see if that will do the same thing. No, Let's pop a little forward. bit of rhinoxide into the mix shall we that will do the job and there we go and I was trying to <coughs> Be a little clever earlier. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I mean, I have done things like this where I've quite like the colour for the boots that I've just mixed up on the fly. This time it just didn't work. So I'll do that and I'll go over these boots as well because. Well, if you don't like them, you will. So just a pair of brown boots is what we have. Work with it, it doesn't take much then to <coughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't take much then to highlight them. I can actually mix this with a little bit of this with scrap brown. And the scrap brown will lighten it enough, I hope. 
and as you can see I'm not being super attentive in fact attentive at all with the cleaning up on these um, they're a pain in the neck because they're so